So I was scrolling through Twitter the other day and I saw this latest Ashes of Creation community discussion, which refers to the possibilities of weapons being destroyed due to overenchanting. And there was a lot of hate towards this idea on Twitter afterwards. So I figured why not make a video and talk a bit more about this and give my thoughts on it along with talking about how the enchanting profession works as a whole in Ashes of Creation. In Ashes, there are two types of enchanting for items. These two types of enchanting are called vertical enchantment and horizontal enchantment. Vertical is a direct power progression for that item you enchanted, meaning it adds more damage, mitigation, along with added bonuses and effects. Horizontal enchantments are a more situational enchantment, altering the weapon to be more beneficial in certain situations, such as changing your frost damage on the weapon to fire damage, as you know you are going to be going up against a boss that has less resistance to fire than frost. Horizontal enchantments have no risks to them. The only thing they require is time, effort, and the right amount of resources. Vertical enchanting, though, can cause what is called overenchanting, which depending on the margin of your overenchantment, you can cause the item to decay or be destroyed altogether, which is what the dev discussion was referring to. Obviously, we have yet to hit Alpha 2 yet and haven't seen any enchanting in the game, so this will definitely take on a lot of player feedback when it's implemented, but is the risk of destroying that hard-earned rare sword you acquired even worth it compared to the benefits you may get from that enchant? As I've said before, Ashes of Creation is built around the risk versus reward system, meaning for every great reward, there is a substantial risk behind it. In this case, increasing the power of your weapon would be the reward, and the decay or destruction the risk. And although I don't mind having some risk to features like this, I think completely destroying armor or weapons based on a failed enchant may be a little too much. All of your equipment has durability to it and will decay over time. But outside of enchanting, none of it actually gets destroyed that we know of. It's just a material sink that requires you to gather materials and gold to fix the items once they're dead, which I'm perfectly okay with. The item decay happens as you die and your equipped gear tends to take damage and eventually breaks, which tends to happen in most MMOs that you play. But your non-equipped gear, the gear that's in your inventory, won't be affected. So if your gear can't even be completely destroyed upon death, I don't think having it destroyed from a profession that is meant to help you progress forward would be a good idea. The risk is just more frustrating to players looking to hit that next raid when all of a sudden that amazing sword and shield that you were going to use to tank for your guild is gone because you tried to give it perks and these perks caused it to get destroyed, causing you to scramble to look for replacement equipment last minute while the rest of your guild is waiting for you. It just feels like this is going backwards and would be frustrating enough to cause some players to quit the game altogether after they continue to have their gear destroyed from failed enchant because you're putting your own time into this game and the last thing you want to do is grind for weeks for a weapon and have it destroyed. Especially if you aren't enchanting it yourself too. Imagine going to a player's stall, getting an enchant and that player who's performing the action fails and you lose your weapon. All of a sudden, this game could potentially be creating a more hostile environment for players. I know it really shouldn't happen and it's just a video game, but people tend to get extremely frustrated and passionate about the game they're playing and something like this could cause players to rage on one another over that destroyed item. This happens happens no matter what game you're playing, there's always that one person who is an absolute dick, and having another player destroy your items unintentionally is opening the door for this more toxic community. My solution to all of this would be instead of having the risk of the item getting destroyed, have it be the item becoming broken, causing you to dish out materials and gold for this. Again, I'm not opposed to risks of certain actions being performed, and I think this is probably the best way to do it for enchanting. You could even add a system that requires you to cleanse the enchantment that broke, if in wanted to make it a bit more complex than just paying for the damaged item. Yes, this will still cause frustration, but not as much in the sense that you just lost your legendary sword. What are your thoughts on the risk of items being destroyed through enchanting? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account to jump in on the forums or buy some cosmetic packs, feel free to use my referral link in the description and comments down below, where anything generated from the referral program will go towards benefiting this channel. Otherwise, be sure to hit that subscribe button click that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.